Hi. So I heard that you're one of the instructors for batik souvenir making. Yes, I am. So how long have you been doing this here? Well, it has been two years since we started with the idea of uh, making it as a souvenir. And the sole purpose, we wanted to give it to our visitors and delegates something to bring back home. So it sounds quite interesting. I've never done this before. So uh, let's not waste any time and get right into it. Right, let's go. So, but before that, you need to put this on. Okay. Happen. Just like yours. Yeah, <laughs> just like mine. <laughs> So what do we have here? Right, this is um, the cotton fabric cotton that we use and it is a hundred percent cotton fabric. And why why do we use a hundred percent cotton? Why don't we just use any kind of cloth? Well simply because cotton it helps the wax to penetrate all the way through and then the fact that it absorbs it helps to absorb the dye better. So that's the reason why we use a hundred percent cotton fabric. As compared to if we use silk, um, well, silk is a bit more challenging to work with because of its wicking properties. Okay, so what are these bits and bobs that we have over here? All right, uh, let me start with this one first. All right, this is the wax that we use, okay. and then this is what we call as damar. All right, so we mix it together and then. Uh, we use this to draw onto the fabric, okay? These are the brushes that we use, right? These are the brushes. This is the tool that we use to draw the hot wax onto the fabric, all right? So what we do is we just scoop in the hot wax inside and then it will come up through this single spout, all right? So what happened if the wax got hardened? So if the wax got hardened inside the spout, we use this guitar string and we just clear the path with this guitar string. All right. And finally, we have the dye. All the colors here. So what we do is we take the dye and we mix it with water and we can just colour the fabric. Just normal water? Uh, well, no, not Cold, actually. Cold, hot, just tap water? Yeah, you can just, yeah, tap water is fine, but except for this one. This yellow dye, um, you can't use lukewarm or tap water, you need to use hot water. And you mix it, and then you can mix it in a cup, any kind of container, and then you can straight away colour the fabric. So the first thing that you should do is that you should stretch this fabric. All right, as you can see, we're using this stretcher frame, and you, there is a row of nails here where you lock the fabric on both sides. And then once you have stretched nicely, you use a clip here to help stretching the fabric on the, sides. On the side. Yes. Okay, so the fabric has been stretched out for us already. Can we start the chanting process now? Well, yes, if you're an expert. But for beginners like you, I think you should of use course, this yeah. pencil. So we just use a pencil. That's the second step, I yes. guess, yeah. to use a pencil, sketch out the design. Correct. Okay. And, and it has to be a 5B or 6B pencil. Okay. And what you do is by maybe you would like to refer to any motifs. So in this case, I have here a floral motifs so you can just continue from what I have left. Would you like to try? Okay, yeah sure. Okay. I'm really bad at drawing though so <laughs> so just like this. Alright, there are several motifs in batik making such as flora, fauna and also geometric. And the most popular motifs are leaves and flowers. However, if you feel like drawing your favourite motifs, why not? Give it a try. Thirdly, you need to heat the wax along with dama, and the wax should be hot enough to penetrate through the fabric, but not so hot and thin that it spreads when applied. Next, um, by using the chanting, scoop the wax into the chanting bowl. Be careful of the surface as this melting skillet is hot. So do I just let the wax flow through the single spout? 
yes, but you need to be very careful as the wax is hot. Here I go. Okay, so now the chanting is done on the fabric. Do I start to dye it? Yeah, you can either use solid colour dye or you may mix the colours to produce another colour. It all depends on your creativity. Wow, Jasmine! I know, I didn't think I would be this good at it. <laughs> So now that I'm done, can we frame it? Um, no, not just yet. Uh, we need to let it sit and dry first. Oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's great to have my own souvenir that I made for myself. Yeah, you have a it souvenir. It was a really interesting journey that I witnessed here today, the process of all of this. Uh, thank you so much for showing me the whole process of batik souvenir making. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.